Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. And today, what we're going to be doing is targeting a kingfish in Western Port out of my kayak. I'm gonna run you through my whole day's fishing today. And even if we don't catch one, I'm still gonna show you my techniques and how I go about catching these dream fish out of Western Port. Should be an interesting day. We've got many, many techniques which we're gonna show off and hopefully one of them will persuade these elusive fish. So we'll just quickly take a look through the kayak and what we've got going on. So we have two bait rods down here. I'm gonna target some squid first of all for live baits. If we do get live baits, they'll be going in that esky there. We have a bucket of water to keep putting fresh water in. Now we have three big rods all rigged up and ready to go for kingfish. We've got a live bait rod for squid. We've got two massive hooks on there. That's all ready to go. We also have a surface lure. So we've got this popper here, just in case they're sitting on the surface, or we might even run into some tuna. There's been some tuna around in these waters. So if there's no kingfish about, we could get lucky enough and get a tuna. And the final rod is all the way over here. This is my favorite technique and the most effective one for me and that is a jigging rod. So we've got a jig rigged up, ready to go, just in case some kingfish are on the bottom. That's about it. We've got everything ready to go, and I am really excited. As I said, we might not get one, but even if we don't, I'll teach you guys something, and we might even be able to show off some squid and some other bait fish. It's gonna be a fun day out. Let's get this kayak launched and get this mission on the way. go so we're going to spend probably two or three hours drifting around some of these shallow weed beds we're going to be targeting squid as squid are some of the best live baits that you can have for kingfish it's a really good attractant as well so even if you hook up on another rod the live bait can keep them around or you could even get a double so just going to start drifting along this little cove here really really good squid grounds and hopefully we can get some because if we do that's a really big confidence boost and we'll increase our chances a lot. Now, before we get into things today, I just want to put a little disclaimer out and just give you guys a warning if you are kayak fishermen to be very, very careful if you do this yourself. Where I'm fishing for these fish, there's a lot of current. The currents rip through here and you can't actually pedal against them mid-tide. So you have to do this on a tide change, you have to pick your days, you have to make sure there's no wind. And even then, it's still a very, very dangerous stretch of water. So if you are gonna do it, be very, very careful. So just keep that in mind. And I have all the safety gear. I have a flare with me. I have a little e -perb. I have everything which I need to have in case I do get into trouble. So with that out of the way, let's get a couple of jigs on and start doing a few drifts. Get a white one and a little red one, or oh, orange. While we're trawling. Yeah, we got one while we're trawling. I reckon. We did. Wow. That was a surprise. Oh, it's a cuttlefish. No. It is a cuttle. Oh, that sucks. They're still cool, but it's not what we want. Look at that. We want a live squid. I'm not going to use a live cuddle. See ya, buddy. Oh, well, I guess that's something, but it's not a live squid. It's not our live bait, so keep on persisting. I thought we got really lucky then. It's not a good time of year for squid, so if we get one, I'll be happy. I'll give it a go along here. A bit more patchy bottom. We'll try this green and white one to start off with. We need to get a few squid. Well, at least two, I reckon. It'll be ideal. Oh, floats under. I think we got one on the float. That's a good one if it is one. Really big squid, which is probably not ideal for a live bait, but if there are giant kingfish around, they'll definitely take it. Could be a cuttlefish as well. It's a squid. It is a squid, I think, but it's just a monster. I just saw him out the back of the float. I don't know, he might be a little bit too big, but it is a squid. When we're live baiting for kings, ideally we want the medium-sized squid or the small to medium-sized 
the perfect little lollipops for the smaller kingfish and also the giants. But this one, he's going to be a giant kingfish or bust. Wow, well, we got him. That thing is a giant squid. <laughs> oh, not really the live bait candidate which we're after, but that's a giant. Well, when we were talking about getting live baits, <laughs> I didn't really have a squid quite that big in mind. That has a 40 centimeter hood easily, and it is an absolute monster, monster squid. So we'll keep him in the live bait well, but hopefully we can get one a little bit smaller. What an absolute beast of a squid. Usually this time of year, if you do get squid, they're typically that medium to smaller size class, but that was an anomaly, that. And when you don't have a proper live bait system, this is what you gotta do. Oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect size. Oh, he's only just on. They're coming out. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes, he's perfect. Oh, he's only small, but that is exactly what we're looking for in terms of live bait. Beautiful little live squid. Perfect size. A little bit of a confidence booster. I reckon I'm going to get out of here start making our way out so we've got two live baits in the end which is really really good we can use all three of our techniques we've got poppers jigs and the liveys we've got everything which we need tide change is coming up fairly soon that's pretty much the key to doing the fishing which i'm doing is the tide change we are coming up to our first buoy here and it's almost the end of the tide but you can still see how fast that current's actually flowing very very dangerous area there's some little pressure waves all around the kayak but it's nothing too bad so when i first get to a buoy what i like to do is throw a little stick bait or a little popper directly at it especially if there's no one there there could be fish sitting on it or directly underneath it so we'll throw that at it and see if there's anything there there you go right next to it Usually you'll get one on the first couple of casts if they are sitting on the buoy, so it's probably nothing there. So what we're going to do now is go right up next to the buoy and just sound along the chain. Sometimes the kingfish will hang out right underneath the chain, and if they are, you can actually jig them up and often catch them. So we'll go have a look at that now. I'm right alongside this buoy now. I'm going to go to the sounder, and what I'm looking for is some marks really close to the bottom or just a school of really, really big fish. They don't have to be near the bottom, but if they are, usually we found that's when we get the hookups when we're jigging. So there's nothing here at the moment. What we'll do is just go over the chain. So there's the chain. Doesn't look like there's a lot going on here. Keep sounding around. So far, I'm still seeing nothing, but I'm not really expecting any action just yet. I think the tide change is gonna be the peak time and if they are going to show up, they'll show up then. And we've just sounded up a couple of marks on the bottom, so that actually can be kingfish. So the first thing I'm going to do is get that live squid down, so we'll get the live bait out, and then we'll focus all our efforts around this tide change. The perfect size for a livey, in my opinion. So we're going to rig him up. So we've got two Aido suicide hooks. So we've got one snowed up the top, so that's going to be the keeper hook to hold the squid in position and then we'll have a hook down near the head. So that's gonna be the one which gets the hook up most of the time. So that right there is kingfish candy. So the keeper hook goes through the top, bottom hook through the head, and if there's a kingy around, it cannot resist that, I bet. So we've got a breakaway sinker down the bottom. This is actually a 20 pound line. So if we get snagged, that'll snap off. And then at the end there, we have our squid. So he's looking good. We'll drop him down. So we're just going to slow trawl him around this buoy on the tide change. 
tide's definitely slowing down now, so we'll be able to jig and also trawl that live squid fairly comfortably. So now it is going to be the persistence game. Going to fish here over the next couple of hours and hopefully the kings will rock up. Sometimes they don't, well, most times they don't, but on the odd occasion, you'll just get a big school come through and that's when you'll get one. So we'll just keep on pedaling around, looking for life on the bottom and we'll also do a few drifts with some jigs as well. I guess that's the beauty and the downfall of fishing in a kayak. Obviously you can persist in one area and sometimes catch really good fish, but in a boat you can zoom around to multiple different spots and find the active fish. So it's a bit challenging in a kayak, but I like that we've got a live squid out. I like that we're about to jig. Now we just need some fish to come through on the sounder. Well, so far it's been really, really quiet. Haven't sounded up anything, haven't seen anything, but that's just how kingfishing goes in Western Port, especially when you're in a kayak. So hopefully some life shows up. We just had some people anchor right next to us, which will be annoying if we hook up. That wind's gonna get up, so I'm getting out of here too. Man, another tough trip. Very tough trip. All right, that wind's starting to pick up majorly, so we've gotta get out of here right now. We're gonna pedal straight back in. You don't mess around with the wind when you're out here. See, this is what happened. This is how quick things can change. Like, if I didn't have my stabilizers in a scenario like this, I wouldn't even feel comfortable. The wind's blowing 10 knots, tide's about to pick up, and it'll get real nasty real quick out here. A very, very tough, tough kingfish session. There was many, many other boats who tried alongside me. We were all jigging. I had that live squid down and zero. The live squid actually got hit. Definitely wasn't a king though. Just had the tentacles pulled off, and that was it. A very tough day. This wind's only gonna get worse, so I'm gonna pedal back in and get out of here, I reckon. That is gonna to conclude today. So we put in a massive, massive effort out there. It is now 2 p.m. and we started around first light slash sunrise this morning. So we got live squid. I showed you guys all my methods, jigging, using lures, and we still didn't catch anything, but that's how kingfishing goes, especially when you're on a kayak. Hopefully if you do go out there though, you have a little bit more of an idea after this video and hopefully you have more luck than I do, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.